You might have been the person that heard about cryptocurrency from a friend and wanted to get involved but didn't know how or what projects to get involved in. Maybe you heard about Bitcoin years ago or Chainlink recently, finally hopped on an exchange to buy the coins. As you did more research, you hear about more projects you want to invest in, but every project seems to have a different exchange it's listed on. After a while, you find yourself on a dozen or so exchanges. Wouldn't it be easier to have one exchange that trades most, if not all, cryptocurrencies, and you can use it as easily as Venmo, PayPal, or Robinhood? This is what Uniswap is aiming to solve. By Uniswap's own words, Uniswap is transparent, censorship-resistant financial infrastructure for Ethereum. Uniswap lowers barriers of entry to financial participation and removes central points of failure. It enables anyone to create new markets, provide liquidity, and build financial applications that could not have existed before. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange. Well, what does that mean? It means it's not ran by any one person and anybody can use it as long as they have an internet connection. Well, why is that important? It makes it where you can trade on any Ethereum-based token with any other Ethereum-based token and not have to worry about setting yourself up on an exchange and adding your personal information and risk getting it in the wrong hands. All you need is any Ethereum based token and then you can trade it for any other Ethereum based token on the market, even if it only existed for less than a single day. Now 80% or more of the coins on the market can be traded in an instant and can be listed for free, where before a project would have to find an exchange to get listed on. Last year, Kyber Network, BitGo, and REN made it possible to wrap products like Zcash, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin, essentially making it where you can trade other assets on the Ethereum platform. With these and eventually more products, you should be able to wrap any asset and be able to trade it on Uniswap. But I'll leave my bullish video on REN for another day. Wink wink. In this video, I want to show you how to go from start to finish and how you can take money from your bank account and move it all the way through a successful transaction through Uniswap. So sit back, relax, and let's learn how to use this game-changing decentralized exchange called Uniswap. If this is the first video of mine that you are watching, just know my channel is directed towards newer people into the space, and so if you are new to the space, liking and subscribing absolutely isn't a bad idea, and make sure you hit that bell notification because I do live streams every single Sunday, and I do them randomly, and I talk about the news, the market, stuff that's going on with cryptocurrency, so if you have any questions whatsoever, you can hop on and ask them, and I do give every single penny that YouTube gives me for this channel straight to charity, so I super Super appreciate every single like and subscribe. I know it just takes a quick little second to hit that stupid little button, but it really does help me out and I super appreciate it. But uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. So to start, our very first step is to get Ethereum. So to get cash into Ethereum, you can do this many different ways, but if you live in the United States, I currently recommend Crypto.com using the app because currently you can insert money into the market, trade, and get money out of the market for free. I do have a reference link down below that you can use and we can both get some money if you use it. Once you have your bank account connected to Crypto.com's app, you essentially need to just buy Ethereum with your debit card and then send that Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet. You can download the MetaMask wallet at metamask.io and add it to your Google Chrome extensions. If you are new to crypto and this is the first time creating a wallet, just know you will be given a password and essentially that password is a bunch of random words. Just know this password, you need to write it down exactly how it is and I would do it multiple times because if this password is lost, there is no way to recover it. So make sure you write this down and never forget this and put it in places you'll never forget. Once you have downloaded the extension, you will simply need to hit the buy button and then you can either buy or direct deposit Ethereum. 
For this example, we are going to direct deposit Ethereum from our Crypto.com app and direct deposit into this specific wallet. However, just know you will have a different wallet address and you can create as many wallets as you want. Now that the funds are in the wallet, your next step would be connecting the wallet to Uniswap itself. You do that by hitting the three buttons in the top right, and then you pick the wallet you want to connect, hit next, and then connect the wallet. Now before we go further, I want to talk to you about fees for a second. There is something called gas, and essentially that is the fees that Ethereum uses in order to make transactions go through. So everything on Uniswap is a Ethereum-based token, and anytime you trade any Ethereum-based tokens, there is going to be some Ethereum cost in order to make that trade. They call it gas. So essentially just know, you're always going to need quite a bit of Ethereum in your wallets in order to pay for these fees. The reason why I bring up these fees is because you will end up trying to do some transactions and they will have outrageously high fees to do these transactions. Now this isn't necessarily a Uniswap problem as it is an Ethereum problem. However, Ethereum is working on Ethereum 2.0 which may come out in the following months which hopefully will make the transactions per seconds go way Way higher which means the transaction costs will go way lower on that note just understand what uniswap does is trade ethereum based tokens so most of the coins that are currently in the cryptocurrency ecosystem are currently ethereum however you cannot trade cross chain with uniswap they are working on this problem companies like sora and chain x are working to create a bridge and hopefully when PokeSwap comes out near the end of the year, beginning of next year, then we'll be able to trade any coins through an exchange like this. However, currently, this is just an exchange for Ethereum. Okay, so let's get back to it. Now that we have created our wallet and we have connected our wallet to Uniswap, what Uniswap did is it created a new wallet for us that is going to act as an intermediary between Uniswap and our wallets. However, most times it connects directly. So this address right here should match this address listed right here. If it is not matching, then no, you have to do these next steps. However, if this address right here matches this address right here, then these next steps are unnecessary. So essentially what we need to do is now we need to send our funds from our MetaMask wallet to the Uniswap wallet. You will need to choose how much you want to send here as well as choose the speed. This is where you will see a charge and that charge will change pretty much every time you send Ethereum. Once the transaction has gone through, it should automatically update in your wallet. Sometimes, by the way, transactions can fail and sometimes you do still lose those fees, so be aware that does happen. You just gotta do the transaction again and hope it goes through. Now a lot of times when you type in the coin you can't find it, so essentially we need to grab it from the source and manually put it in. So I go to coingecko.com, I find the coin I'm looking for on their website. There should be a link next to the explorers section. It should say etherscan.io. Click on that link and it should take you to the token that's on etherscan. There should be a contract in the top right. We're going to want to copy that contract and paste it in Uniswap. Once it's pasted in Uniswap, we can manually put in that token, and now we know that we are actually buying the real token and not some fake knockoff, which can happen by the way, so be careful. So for this example, we will be buying some XOR. So as you see, it'll be 0.4 Ethereum for 2.16 XOR, and below you do see the fees associated with the trade. Now you should see a add a send optional link. Once you click on it, there'll be a section to add a wallet address address, essentially you are going to need to take your Ethereum wallet address that you just created from your MetaMask and you're going to need to paste it in there. Doing that essentially will swap the token and then put the swapped token in your MetaMask wallet. By the way, here's a perfect example of the fees. We're swapping $180 and we're getting $170 because there is a $9.29 fee. Fun fun. Once the transaction is submitted, you should be able to see the pending status in the top right. You should be able to click on it, click on the actual transaction link itself. It should take you to an Etherscan address and that should show you in real time the transaction going on. And when the transaction actually pushes through or doesn't push through, it'll show in real time on this page. When the transaction is completed, you should be able to go back to Uniswap, open your MetaMask wallet and you should see the funds in there. 
there. Now if you do not see the funds in there, don't worry, we just need to manually insert the token. So just like we did before, we're going to need to hit the add token button and manually add the token itself. So let's go back to CoinGecko, let's click on the etherscan.io address, and let's copy the contract just like we did before. We're going to go back to our MetaMask wallet, then we're going to add the token. Again, we're going to put that token contract in the custom token address field, and then we're going to hit next. We're going to hit add tokens, and then the token should be added, and the amount that you purchased should automatically populate. Now you know how to trade any Ethereum based token for any other Ethereum based token. So have fun with it, and it does open the door for a lot of opportunities, but it does also open the door for a lot of risk. And that is it for this video, and I super appreciate everybody who has gotten to this point. And hey, if you've gotten to this point, please leave a like and comment down below on what your favorite DeFi project is. And if you haven't subscribed already, more than 95% of the people that watch this video aren't subscribed. I would love it if you subscribe, hit that bell notification. My channel is directed towards brand new people into this space. And hey, every single penny that YouTube gives me from this channel goes straight to charity. I don't take a single penny from that and on that note I just want to help people on board into the space and not lose any money on that note I do live streams every single Sunday at 11 a.m. mountain time so hop on that stream come say hello ask any questions whatsoever I go over the weekly news my thoughts on the markets my favorite projects currently what's going on I do any type of Q&A and just shoot the bull with you guys so that being said I super appreciate everybody's gotten this far again and I'll see you at the next video